Hi everyone, it's Phil Frost from Main Street ROI. In today's video, our ad analyst Riley is going to walk through how to set up website phone call tracking in Google Ads using Google's Tag Manager tool. This is absolutely critical to set up correctly so that you're able to see how many phone calls you receive from your ad campaigns. And not only that, you wanna know which keywords in your account are driving phone calls and which keywords are just wasting your ad budget. If you haven't set this up yet, or you're not confident it's set up correctly, then watch this video right now. Hey, this is Riley with Main Street ROI, and today's tip is gonna be on how to set up phone call tracking on your website. So this is really, really important, especially for lead-based uh, businesses, because obviously you wanna know, you know, are your Google ads driving phone calls from the website? So in order to do that, we are going to use, um, we're gonna set up the conversion goal in Google ads, and then we're gonna use Google Tag Manager in order to install that tracking code onto the website. So in order to do this, you do need to have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. That is something that will typically require a developer because it requires installing that script on the site. But as long as that's installed, then you should be good. So first of all, um, I'm gonna to go to the, the account view here and select all campaigns and go down to settings, to uh, account settings, and then make sure that call reporting is turned on. So that's an important setting. And then we will go to tools and settings, conversions, and we're gonna create a new conversion action. So this is gonna be phone calls and we're gonna select calls to a number on your website. Um, we will just call it calls um, website. Not going to select a conversion value here, but you could put that in. So if you did want to, if a phone call for your business was worth a certain dollar value, then you could put that in here. Um, I only want to count one in case they call back multiple times. And then here is um, two things. So <clears throat> in order for website call tracking to work, Google is going to apply what's called a Google forwarding number or GFN to the number on your site. So basically what's gonna happen for this display number here, um, we're gonna put in the number that's actually on the site. So this is just an example, but let's say that was the, this was my business number that's actually on the website. That's telling Google, find this number and replace it with a Google forwarding number. That's going to allow Google to track that uh, phone call. And then what, what the destination number is, um, once, once Google does that and applies a Google forwarding number, what's the number that we would like it forwarded to? So this is where, if you have a tracking number, this is where that would go. So let's say we do have a tracking number and it's 555. Okay. So in this case, uh, this is our actual business number that's on the website. Google is going to find this number, replace it with a Google forwarding number. That Google forwarding number will then forward the call to our tracking number, which will then forward the call to our actual business number where someone will pick up the phone. Uh, call length threshold. So this is, this is how long you want the phone call to last in order for it to count as a conversion. So I typically will recommend starting lower, like maybe 10 to 15 seconds, um, just to give the Google ads campaign, kind of some, some data to get some early conversions to, uh, to kind of know what to optimize for. And then later on, you can increase this to 30 seconds or 60 seconds, um, whatever threshold indicates that it's a, a quality lead. Uh, 30 days, that's good. And then attribution, just, you know, how much credit goes to the Google ads. Um, data driven is the new attribution model. So I'd, I'd recommend going with that. Click create continue. Oh, it's, it's going to require that I put in an actual number. Okay. Um, let's try this one. Okay. And we're going to use Google Tag Manager. Okay. So this is where we'll switch over to Tag Manager. And we are going to select, so I'm in the tags view here. Um, we're going to select tag configuration and I just do a search for call. So specifically this tag is called Google ads calls from website conversion. So we'll select that. Um, this is that display number 
that we are going to have Google replace with a Google forwarding number. So it's that, and then conversion ID. And then this is just copy and paste. Pretty straightforward. Conversion label. Cool. And the trigger is real easy. We're just going to select all pages, page view. And hit save. And that is our uh, calls from website goal. And then last thing we have to do is just publish the changes and we are good to go. So that is how to set up website call tracking using uh, Google Tag Manager for your Google Ads. If you have any questions about this, please reach out to us. We specialize in helping small businesses with their, uh, with their advertising. So this is what we do and we want to help. So please reach out if you have any questions.